as Caelan, it's fair to say your documentary uh, put much more of the blame of the Port Talbot Steelworks closing on Brexit. And that's what we've been debating uh, this morning. And that has prompted um, someone who you may be familiar with to pick up the phone and call us this morning. It is the leader of the Reform Party, Richard Tice. Morning to you, Richard. Christo, a very good morning to you. I just had to call this morning because I've never heard such complete and utter tosh by any of your uh, commentators about this very important issue. It, okay. is exclusively be it is exclusively because of net zero that those 3,000 jobs are being sacrificed on that altar. It's got nothing to do with Brexit whatsoever. I've been down there. I've spoken to union leaders. I've said that I should present to 2,000 workers down there. What they're doing, which Caelan seems to have completely failed to explain to your wonderful listeners, what they're doing is they are closing the two blast furnaces. They're receiving a government subsidy of £500 million in order to build an electric arc furnace that makes less high-quality steel and therefore means we actually can't make strong steel for some of our uh, our, our most important uses are our, our, our most important. Well, Richard, uses. you said you spent all this time down there. What? Where, where is your? Where is the reporting about it? Where, where is your? Where is your video about it? I mean, it's not me saying it's Brexit, by the way, Richard. This is the steel Kaylin, workers. This Kaylin, is the extra minister of Wales. This Kaylin, is was, literally Kaylin, everyone in the town. Where is it? Caelan, I was down there last Sunday evening talking to a load of voters, including steel workers, in Port Talbot. I was speaking last Sunday evening. Yeah, I spoke to them as well, and a lot of them voted oh, no, no, for let, your... Let, let him finish, then, then, then Caelan, you come in. So, so you're, you're saying that they absolutely say it is uh, down it's exclusively, to this. It's exclusively because of net zero that they are being forced to shut the blast furnace and to build a new electric arc furnace. And here's the madness of it, Christo. In Asia, all of the steel generating capacity that is being built at the moment is being built exclusively with blast furnaces not with electric arc oh, furnaces. Oh, right, all right, Richard. Because blast furnaces make stronger steel. I, I, I understand that, but what about Caelan's point? Why are people like the former First Minister of Wales, the workers themselves in the steelworks, saying, look, sorry, we have... Well, hang on, let, let me finish my question. Let me finish my question. The, the, they are saying it is absolutely down to Brexit. We are less competitive. We haven't had the investment from the government because of Brexit, and that this is the reason why. Why are they saying that if it's nothing to do with Brexit? The former First Minister of Wales was a massive Ramona. The steelworkers themselves, most of those voted Brexit, and they are not saying that. They're saying it's because of net zero. Richard, did you watch the report over there? Let, him, let him finish his answer. They are absolutely fuming mad at this unnecessary destruction of jobs. And for Caelan to sit there and to say there's no investment, we're investing unnecessarily half a billion quid's worth of taxpayers' cash down in Port Talbot, and we're about to agree the same with Jingyi. All right, Scunthorpe. all right, let, 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 let Caelan respond to all of that. Richard, the only reason that people think it's net zero is because the garbage that was being put out on GB News saying that it was all because of net zero every single minute since that plant closed, and there was nothing to really back that up. Just because we have new targets about green energy doesn't mean that that's the reason that most of our industries are failing in this country, that we're not basically serious on the world stage anymore. We can't export things like steel at the same rate we used to be able to do because of export and import taxes of the type of materials we need to get into this country. This is the steelworks themselves who voted Brexit, your Brexit, who told me on camera, if you watch the report, that they regret that vote because it's made their jobs more unstable. All right. What do you say to all of that, Richard? Caelan also mentioned about offshore wind, the renewable industry. No, no, but I'll, 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 no, answer, yes, answer that bit, Richard. The reason, the reason that Caelan said answer. that it's not competitive is because of the very high electricity costs. We've got the highest electricity costs. Richard, why did the people the that voted well, for your Brexit tell me they regret it? Why did they say they regret it? Look, I've been down there, Caelan. I've spoken to these people. They know it's net zero. The company itself said it was because of their need to meet their net zero targets to build these electric but what, why are the sorry, sorry, sorry Richard still. but why are people then saying as to Caelan's point it is down to Brexit and that they now regret voting for, because, for Brexit because, 
because Kalen was making a deliberately anti-Brexit, misleading documentary. Sorry, do you think I paid these people to say this, Richard? If you watch the video, these are steelworkers in their uniform from the steelworks in Port Talbot saying, I voted leave, I regret it, it's made my job less stable. Do you think I kind of paid the money to say that? Do you think think they're actors? Who are these people then, Richard? Kalen, you are obsessed with Brexit. The reality is, and the company itself said it in its statements, which you may or may not You're have read, covering up but Brexit. it was all to do, it's all to do with building the electric arc furnaces in order to meet net zero targets. Of and course it is. Matter. Just like everything it, has nothing to do with and, Brexit, and, and, of course no, it's to do with net zero. Is yeah. it a fair point? R- Richard, let me just ask Kalen though. If, if, if the government are subsidising Port Talbot to actually uh, create this electric furnace which won't create the best steel and that is a massive investment that the government are creating surely a- anyone pro or anti-Brexit would look at that and say well of course then it makes sense as to why the blast furnace which has more jobs will end up closing what do, what do you say to that well point yeah of, of course look i think i think it was good that we invest that we at least tried to invest in well, you said a moment ago we weren't in, that there was no investment well, we tried it was basically a, a bit of a bailout because they're still losing a million pounds a day because of post-brexit complications and because of other issues that every manufacturing country uh, company in this country is experiencing but that doesn't mean it's still not a bad thing that the government tried but they're basically just bailing out failing companies because it's very hard to operate in this country and export anything or import anything because of brexit something that richard did and you say that I'm obsessed with this, Richard. I'm obsessed with Brexit. I'm actually obsessed with the truth. You're obsessed with hiding Brexit and lying about it. This is what GB News put out constantly saying nothing has anything to do with Brexit. It's anything other than Brexit. When Steelworks closed down and everyone who works there that I spoke to on camera, which you can watch on Byline TV, say that it's because of Brexit, you don't put any... Where's your report about it? Where's, can, where, where, where are okay, your videos? Richard, within? what do you say to that? Kellen doesn't seem to understand. The steelworks is not closing down. It is demolishing the blast furnaces and replacing them with electric arc furnaces. It's extraordinary that a man who claims to have been down there and spoken to people doesn't understand that simple, basic fact. No one else around the world is building electric arc furnaces. They're not doing that in Asia because blast furnaces... Oh, all right. But, but... Steel. So, Kellen, what we're now having to do is we're now going to have to import the stronger steel from blast furnaces from overseas, which is going to add even more CO2. It's the absolute definition of madness. It's all because of net zero. All right, R- Richard, though, Richard. In quid's worth of taxpayers' cash. Richard, can I, can I just ask, though, because it, is it not fair to say, look, whether you are pro or anti-Brexit, um, and there are many people who've had been both sides on, on my show, as, and you and I have debated privately about this uh, as well, that... Um, that that Brexit opportunities not being harnessed that have, and the kind of Brexit we ended up with has contributed to making it more difficult to export to other countries. Now, you may say, look, that's nothing to do with you and that would be fair because you didn't negotiate Brexit. But is it not fair to say that, that, that at least that is an element? I think that a Brexit is a great opportunity that they haven't yet properly taken advantage of because they haven't deregulated, they haven't got rid of unnecessary rules and regulations and they haven't lowered... So the kind Richard, of how, long, how long do you need, Richard, for it to be a great opportunity? Because that's all you ever say. No, but his, it, it, but, but is, but is his not point not that the kind of Brexit we've ended up with has has, has, has resulted in this situation? But there is no, not there is no kind of Brexit that would work. There is no type of Brexit hey, that would hey, work. Hey, it's hey, fundamentally hey, a failed hey, idea. All right, Kaylin, Richard, I'll, Kaylin, I'll give you the final Kaylin, word to Kaylin. Uh, Kaylin. Why is Germany in recession? We might be flatlining. They're doing even worse. And yet people like you want to rejoin the, the failing, sclerotic European Union. Why do you want to rejoin a failing model, Caelan? Uh, why is it that most that, that Britain had the uh, slowest uh, GDP any, of any country literally one. in the developed nations of the last couple of years? Why is our, why is our economic glo- growth slower than any other developed nation in the West, Richard? The, Germany is in recession, Kalen. Why oh, okay, you, you found one other country recovery? that's not doing very well. Okay, well then Germany Brexit's great, big, great, fantastic, great. Germany is the biggest, it's the industrial powerhouse of the European Union. It holds up the whole EU economy. It is struggling because but of... Why, did, why, why Britain because specifically? Of why Britain specifically? Why did we specifically have the slowest economic right, growth of okay, listen, Why? Why is that? What I'm is that calling it. I'm call, we, 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 are, we are on a, uh, the, the, the completely unmagic roundabout at the moment, going round in circles. So I'm going to call it a, a draw. Listen, well, you just Richard, say I'm right. thank you very much indeed. That's Richard Tice, who's so infuriated he phoned the programme. <laughs>